So must do number four is get feedback from customers and clients early and often. And so the idea here is, is to get feedback. So you're always in the know on how your customer or client feels about your product or service. Uh, how do you do that? Lots of ways to do it. And so as always, I always like to create a little bit of context first before we get into the specifics. And that is how you do it, knowing that there are many, many ways to do it. The idea is you just simply have to know exactly how your customer or your client feels about your product or service. And the only way to do that is to ask them. So and another way to do that is to sell them your product or service. And so what's important here is a lot of people will create a product, create a service, start a business or think about starting a business with that product or service. And they're getting feedback from people that really aren't customers or clients. They haven't paid any money for that. And so the first feedback you're going to get is, will someone pay you what you're asking for? That's the first piece of feedback that they say, this is worth it. In addition to that, again, it's now just asking them. And so there are lots of ways to do it. If you're an online business, then you would create an online mechanism that they might fill out and give you feedback. Obviously, there are lots of ways to get likes and get reviews and things like that. Up and over that, asking them. So my style, I'm in the service business. I'm typically working one-to-one -one in a B2B business, working directly with a CEO. So I'm always asking. And so for the first five years of creating EOS, as an example, I got feedback in every session, literally 500 sessions over five years. I was constantly asking. I was constantly getting their feedback. But ratings are what I'm fond of. And so I always rate everything on a scale of one to 10, 10 being best. How would you rate this? And so I'm always asking for feedback. And then the other thing I do is I will then send a survey annually to all of my clients. There's typically three to seven people on a leadership team. Every year I get feedback from them on how I'm doing, rate me, what could I do better? So I'm always asking for feedback and I urge you to do the same.